Hello everyone, we will use the Cloud Engine 16808 as an example. The video goes over the installation procedure and precautions for cable management frames, power modules, a toolbox for storing SFE wrenches, fan modules, and a chassis door. Installing Cable Management Frames Insert the positioning pins of a cable management frame into the mounting holes on the device. Slide the frame up or down until its positioning pins fit in the recess of the mounting holes and then tighten the captive screws on the cable management frame. Installing Power Modules When installing a power module, first make sure that the indicator on the power module is on top. Grasp the power module handle with one hand and use the other hand to support the bottom of the power module. Slowly slide the power module into the slot along the guide rails until it clicks into place. Note. Properly plan the number of power modules to be installed on a device based on its power consumption specifications. Do not remove the filler panel in an idle power module slot. Do not install DC power modules and AC and high voltage DC power modules on the same device. Installing a toolbox for storing SFU wrenches. Tilt the toolbox towards the bottom of the chassis until it is lying flat and secure it to the chassis by tightening the screws. The toolbox is used for storing SFU wrenches. Installing Fan Modules Press the release buttons on the right side of the fan module handles to turn the handles out. Rotate them until they click in place. Hold the handles with both hands and gently push the fan module into the slot along the guide rails until it cannot move forward any further. Press the release buttons on the right side of the fan module handles to fold the handles inwards. Tighten the captive screws on the fan module. Check the fan module status indicator. If the indicator blinks green slowly, the fan module is running properly. Install fan modules from left to right. Optional, installing a chassis door. If cable management frames, a tray, and a power module enclosure have been installed on the chassis, you need to remove them first. Then you can install a chassis door as follows. 1. Install cable management frames with rubber components. 2. Align the upper and lower enclosure frames with mounting holes on the device. Insert the enclosure frames horizontally and tighten the captive screws on the enclosure frames. 3. Align the buckles at the bottom of the chassis door with the lower enclosure frame and insert the buckles. Push the chassis door into the upper enclosure frame until the hooks of the chassis door click onto the upper enclosure frame. Note, the chassis door components include a door panel and dedicated cable management frames. If you decide to install a chassis door, you do not need to install the cable management frames that are delivered with the chassis. The chassis door and cabinet door cannot be both installed. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching.